antimicrobial resistance is a threat throughout the world and including Africa as well. Based on WHO estimation, it has shown that Africa is, will contribute about 4 million people will be dying every year because of antimicrobial resistance in Africa. When we talk about the antimicrobial resistance in accordance to uh, WHO, it means it's the resistance of a microorganism uh, to respond effectively to antimicrobial medicine that was uh, initially effective by it. When the microorganism becomes resistant, the likelihood of this organism to spread from one person to another is high. We are likely to cause community transmission and has possible increased mobility and mortality. So it's a threat across uh, Africa and globally. We should first create awareness among professionals and create awareness among communities. We make sure that we have enough data that we can describe the magnitude and the severity of the problem. The next step to fight against AMR could be developing policies to restrict antibiotic accessibility change the way we treat our patient. Empirical treatment is no longer effective. We need to treat based on laboratory findings because most of the patients they might be coming to the healthcare facility already consume the antibiotics. Also, strengthening laboratory system for testing is also effective measure that could be the next step to fight against antimicrobial resistance. In order to combat the antimicrobial resistance, we need to strengthen advocates to all key stakeholders. They really need to understand that antimicrobial resistance is a problem. We need to build the capacity to healthcare workers and laboratory expertise who are involved in testing the samples for these patients, but also to strengthen the surveillance of antimicrobial resistance because that's an entry point towards understanding the burden of antimicrobial resistance. Another thing that I think we can do is to strengthen the One Health approach because when we talk about antimicrobial resistance, it cuts across sectors. ASLM has been a frontline soldier to fight against antimicrobial resistance in Africa and in Tanzania specific. The Fleming Fund Fellowship Program has helped me to build the capacity in my country and also develop awareness on antimicrobial resistance in Tanzania. SLM is doing a great job in fighting against the antimicrobial resistance. Uh, first, looking at the nature of its training when they're appointing candidates, they take candidates from different sectors, uh, including uh, animal health, human health, environmental health. But also through SLM, we are being taught uh, different stuff, including like this training of uh, communication and policy brief. So uh, using the data that we have to send a message to the key stakeholders in a very simplified way.